Hi, it's Terrence at Wooden Toys 101, and I wanted to let you know and make a video about color transfer. This is a um, common thing with Grimm's Wooden Toys, and um, it's something that you should know about before you purchase them. And um, I wanted, I tested out two ways of removing it, Norwex cloth and Magic Eraser, and um, wanted to let you know how that went. And the second thing is I did the magic racer on a spare block that I have. Um, I had ordered a large set pyramid and one block came cracked. So the small shop owner sent me new ones, which was incredible of her, um, nest.ca. But um, I didn't want to use the magic racer on my toys um, that my kids touch and put in their mouth. And um, don't get me wrong, there's a place for magic racer in the household. I am thankful I was born. Um, in the era of magic eraser, <laughs> but um, I won't be using them on my Grimm's wooden toys. Um, so first of all, color transfer is, is because um, these blocks are not sealed with polyurethane. They're sealed with a light oil coating, um, which I absolutely love. That is a positive to me, but what that means is they're not gonna stay perfect. They're gonna get dented more and they're gonna have color transfer, um, especially the lighter items. So where it is most pronounced for me has been on my monochrome rainbow set. And um, if you are a perfectionist or have something along the lines of OCD, then the monochrome set may not be for you because I've heard all over the board that there's a lot of color transfer for people with monochrome. So you can see the black and white touch each other. And since the white is super light, you get a lot of black marks. This is a highly played with thing for at least five years for us. Um, and it still, I love it, and it's, I think it still looks great, but it definitely has a fair amount of color transfer. Let me see if I can get that a little better. So that bothers some people, and it's something to be aware of. I love it. I don't plan on selling my toys, so I don't mind if um, that gets on there, and it's a, shine, it's a sign of play. Um, it's a patina. I selected unlacquered brass uh, fittings for our kitchen, so obviously I have a thing for patina and things that age. Um, but I just wanted to make sure everyone who's new to Grimm's know before they get into them. The other thing, um, so polyurethane that is used on a lot of things you're used to, like furniture, um, protects against color transfer, obviously. It's water resistant and water pretty much sealed. Um, but it also protects a little bit against chips and dents. So on this large step pyramid block that we use every day, <laughs> um, there are quite a few dents. So um, that is also something to be aware of. And in my book, not something to be afraid of. Um, so I did two things. Um, I did two things to try to get the um, color transfer off. I tried Norwex with water and I tried the Magic Eraser and um, the Norwex with water didn't work. <laughs> and then the Magic Eraser did work to a certain extent, um, not perfectly, but I again, wouldn't use it on my toys. So, um, just wanted to do a little bit of a video about color transfer and how it is to be expected with these toys because they're not sealed with polyurethane um, and something to be aware of that the lighter things tend to get more of it. Um, but again, it's um, definitely not something to, for in my book, to be afraid of unless you're looking to have a museum. Um, but I think these are made for play and I love to see the patina and the signs of being loved and played with and um, I, I kind of see it as a positive and kind of fun and the colors are also beautiful. And um, honestly, when you look at stuff from afar, you don't notice it at all. Um, and again, if you're really afraid of it, then I would go with the um, the deeper colored Grimm's. So like the traditional original rainbow color, this is one of the most played with toys. There's barely any color transfer, transfer. it's the deeper colors. And if you don't like color transfer, I'd avoid the monochrome and um, I'd avoid mixing the pastel with the monochrome and the original rainbow colors. Um, so again, those are my thoughts on color transfer and I hope this is helpful and um, I hope you won't be afraid of color transfer.